Hello, my friends. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. Today we will talk about this 996 Liberhair X Writer building by Frog. So we will have full demonstration of the inside, how the system is working. So this one, it is a monster and a very elegant building because the build of Frog, they are like an artist. It is perfect machine. So let's first to see the chassis, the track. Here, we got this, all this main frame the, the track and all this metal plate is stainless steel and with this uh, gray painting. So inside we got a uh, sensor brushless motor with 128 ESC. So when driving, this is the driving wheel inside and here we, we have the two motor here. So when driving inside, you see this one is very heavy around 100, 135 kg. So screw reduction and uh, combined with planetary deceleration. So the motor uh, high speed reduced with high torque, slow speed. And uh, this rear part, the, this one, the idler wheel, uh, inside got a uh, motor and a screw for as uh, behaving as uh, this track tensioner. So this idler wheel can be moved inside and out to the uh, front side and the rear side to make the track more tension or less. So you can replace the pin and the track parts. So I have already removed some cover and screws. Later you can see what is inside. So this one, as a builder, it is fully simulation of the real 996 actuator. So got many parts can be separated as module to take out one by one. So now we will remove this back cover, this block inside is the battery. So before you remove, power off. Okay, take it out. So this block, it is very heavy, full metal one. Also reacting, this one as balance the weight. So here you see put a battery. So we also have original uh, 24,000 mAh battery, just enough same size to put here. Okay, also, this one, the side cover can be removed one by one. This one, you lift up, it is hooked on the frame. Lift and then pulling out. You see here inside got this hook, hook up on the frame. So this one also take out, put here. And also this one, this inside we got the oil tank. On top we have four fan for cooling, so this fan Four fan only start after the oil getting uh, getting hot. They will start. We will remove this one. Lift up. So this one have pin and hook, and also have quick connection for the power. It is here for the power for the fan. So secured by this position. Okay, that's that's inside this connection and the four fan. Move. So you see, all this side cover, it is hooked up on this main body. And this main body have module, one module with two pump. That's, and another module with another two pump. So it is all secured with this main frame down here. And also this oil tank, it is also uh, fitting to the main frame. So, this one so heavy, uh, when you're lifting up, your hand it is only on the main frame and uh, the chest is track and the arm. So not on the body, only the main frame, okay? So not to damage these side parts. Also from this side, right side, this cabin, and also this ladder, they all can be removed, but this one, this ladder hydraulic control. So hydraulic control with two oil cylinder. This one also can be lift up, but have all your line, yeah? Easy, and not pulling the wires. So you see here, because it got the warning light, so also have wires connecting to the cabin. Here are the cooler. So we will leave this at this position, and we will see more about the, on the cabin. And uh, also later we will remove this one, the cover to show you. So this cabin, it is secured to the main frame with pin and the screw. Backside have door already open. So already I removed this screw, take it out. 
I lift up for you to see because this one have a receiver and the speakers inside. Uh, so lift up the pin from bottom, easy. Yeah. You see there are the wires for the speakers and the receivers, receiver wires. So downside you see here got two pin, one pin here and one inside. So secure with pin and this screw. And uh, you see this box on the cabin, it is very big. So inside got uh, one receiver for the light and the sound and also have uh, two speaker for the sound system. I will put this one back because have to hold it. This is the back side of the cabin. Open the door, man go inside from here. And uh, under here, you will see here have an opening of under the cabin. So it is a big space. Inside have the receive one receiver for the sound and light system, sound and light board, and two speaker all inside here. This is the front side of the chassis. So it is the leather and cover secured by magnet. You just pull and open it. So Already put one battery inside, that's for the drive. So drive to motor. Uh, the receiver, have one receiver inside. I will take this out. Okay, let's take out this receiver. So here got one receiver, only two plug. That's for the ESC of the two driver, driver motor. So it is a sensored brushless. And uh, you see got 128, that's the two ESC. So that's the three wires for the motor from this angle. You see the, the blue, yellow, and the orange, that color, go to that side. OK, that's the chassis. We will put this back. So here is the oil tank. This is the return line, so three return lines. So inside got three uh, oil filter. So the dirty thing not go, go back to the oil tank again. Uh, so the three filter it is vertical inside coming from this three return line. Here is the fill up. This is the quick connection for the uh, this cover for fan. So this fan not started uh, directly here. You will, you see here it is uh, on the power line. Here got a sensor. It is a temperature sensor switch. So only the oil tank oil getting hot. The fan here. This four fan will start. So it is a temperature sensor switch. After oil getting hot, we'll start. And here, downside from the oil tank, that's the oil suction line. This oil suction, the hose, going to there, that's the suction block. So here we got two modules for the pump system. So totally two modules, four pump, each module two pump. I already removed these screws, you can see what is inside there. Also this cover, and also this one, screws removed. So each module here got one receiver. So five plugs, two pump, two valve, and one for the fan. So here we got uh, this ESC, brushless motor for the pump. ESC, one ESC, another ESC inside. Here this one, it is for the motor, for the fan. These are only wires connections. And uh, come here. This plug, rubber one, remove. You can fill up the black powder for smoking inside. It's a carbon black powder. And uh, this you lift up. Screws already removed, yeah, just to show you. Need, need to take out from this angle because here have the connection for blowing out the black powder. So now you see this chamber fill up the black powder inside. Here, this fan, it is for mixing the black powder with air, so it is not uh, sit, all the powder not sit inside on the, on the part. And this fan here will blow the black powder like a sm black smoke coming out from this, this pot. So this is the black powder, carbon powder, open and fill up from here. And here you see this got another this one control board ESC for this uh, fan motor. So this two pump module, it is all secured with this block with all the screws on the main frame. So they can separate, take out separately. Let's say this module got two pump. This pump, it is for the uh, big arm. This one is for the bucket. This one, it is for the ladder. 
and uh, this one it is for the front arm. And uh, come to this angle, here you will see the pump and uh, all these pipe connections. This one, it is a full metal servo for the distribution valve. So 45 kg and uh, four pump, four valve, so four servo. And here you will see each pump got a pressure release valve. One is here, one is here, so same for another module inside. So here, this pump module have four pump, four distribution valve, and a 45 kg full metal servo, and a four pressure release valve. For the two module here, that's the cooler, so oil inside the cooler circulating and the cooling by fan here. So each cooler got four small fans for cooling. So after power on, the fan, it, it is always running. So when the hydraulic system, the pump starts, oil circulating inside and got cooled down. This oil suction here got a filter screen, I forgot to tell you. Uh, so the dirty stuff not going to the pump. And here, that's all the hose connections and distribution, the, the hose block all connecting to these two metal block. So all the oil coming from the pump and connecting to here and leading to the hose separate to uh, these three motion, big arm, front arm, bucket. So each motion have two cylinder, so totally six cylinder. And each cylinder we have three hose. So the piston, it is at downside and the piston connecting road. So upper part got a big surface, so need more oil fluent, so I have two hose. Downside, it is only one hose. So when this big arm pushing down, have more power. Uh, no, the, this big arm pushing up because piston going down. The big arm rising, have more power. And see here, so this front arm doing the digging, going back, it is more power. So the bucket, when doing the digging, coming back, it is more power. So six cylinder, each cylinder three holes to totally have 18 holes here. All connections are done here and leading to downside. What is special for this machine? Here, this builder have one patent about this one. Here have six pressure release valve again. So we have four pressure release valve from the pump block and six more pressure release valve here. So when the pressure release valve the, and the distribution valve, uh, the distribution valve from the uh, oil pump block, it is closed. When you're moving, you have too much pressure on the arm and bucket. So the oil pressure too much in the hose, it will not burst out. The oil from these six pressure release valve open and go back to the oil tank directly. So why six pressure release valve again? Because we have three motion, each motion have two direction up and down. So totally six, uh, let's say, if you're pressing or lifting up, pressing, lifting up, going back, going out. So each motion have one more pressure release valve from here. Here it is the downside of the pump modules. So these two with small holes, these connections are the, the pump leading to the ladders, so two cylinder, these two, and uh, these six connections from another three pump uh, leading to the connection blocks. So each pump have two connections, uh, two different direction leading oil to operation the uh, hydraulic motion. Yeah. Here, let's see the rotation. So this one for the rotation, it is very finely controlled also because this one, you see the uh, rotation motor, it is a sensored brushless motor also with 120A ESC. So this one also have one pattern. The only this machine it is using for the uh, speed reducing gearbox, it is a K wave reducer. So there is no gap so no shaking of the upper part when rotating or spinning. So no distance, no gap, no shaking for the upper part. So that's all for this 996 Libre Hair building by Frog. So uh, all the functions, how it's working, what is special about this one, already 
or in the video. So next time I will make one more video to show you how to operate it from the radio. And later we will see how to setting for the radio settings. Thank you. Bye bye.